<laughs> just getting some fresh air in here for all my polar bears. <laughs> my name is Heidi and I am a professional snuggler. I own a business called Snuggle, Stare, and Pay Me with a Polar Bear. <laughs> so basically, my clients, they have to donate money to SavePolarBears.org and that organization sends them a gift like this and they bring me the gift in exchange for a snuggle or a stare. <laughs> That must be Raju. Raju's a brand new client. Raju, it's so nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. One of the most important things about the snuggle business and in life in general is consent. You always ask someone before you touch them. That's a real problem these days. So Raju, may I shake your hand? Yes. Wow, I noticed there are a lot of polar bears around here. Why do you love them so much? Well, my love of polar bears all started the night I broke up with my ex-boyfriend, Michael. Mike and I, we were watching this super sad documentary about polar bears and about how the ecosystem in the Arctic is declining and how it's all caused by greenhouse gas emissions. Look at this. Isn't that interesting? Polar bears love ducks. So we were watching this documentary and it made me super sad and I started crying and Michael was like, why are you crying? And I said, because we have to do something, you know? We drive old Willie's Jeeps that gets tons of gasoline. We need to upgrade to something that doesn't use as much. And I think that's Oh, that reminds me. I donated to SaveThePolarBears.org and they sent me this gift. Ooh. <gasps> that makes me so happy, Raju. I love it. Let's have a seat on the day bed. <laughs> he liked cold temperatures like I do. Like, for example, I hate hot tubs. And I miss him so much. Like, he had a beard and he was a mom's bird, like a bear. And he was rocky, like a bear. Yeah, it's I, just to be with someone who loves the wildlife, you know? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Quick thing, I've never done this before. Where do we start? I'm so sorry. <laughs> we'll get started. Do you mind putting your snuggle pajamas on and clean socks first? Sure can. Just out that door is the bathroom. <laughs> See you in a little bit. Right back. Raju, may I put my hand on your knee? Yes. Would you like to put your head on my shoulder? Or may I put my head on your shoulder? You can put your head on my shoulder. Okay. Are you asleep? Raju. Oh, wow, did I fall asleep? Yeah, wakey, wakey time. Oh. That's a good thing when you fall asleep during a snuggle session. I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming today. May I give you a hug? No, I'm not ready for that yet. That's absolutely fine. I'll respect your space. May I shake your hand? Yes. I hope to see you again for a future snuggle session. Sure thing. May I lead you out of the room by touching the small of your back? Yes, you may as well. Wonderful. <sighs> Thank you.
first clients are always a lot of fun. <laughs> New clients always take a lot out of me. I so needed this hug today. Oh, that's what I'm here for. Listen, I want you to hug me as tight as you possibly can. <laughs> Angelique, you metaphorically just squeezed the beans out of my butt. I apologize. No worries, we all do it. I'm gonna change to my snuggly pajamas and clean socks. <laughs> okay. I so needed this. I'm so happy I could help. Have you heard anything about Mike? Angelique, don't even get me started about Mike, okay? I'm already started, so I might as well just tell you. Rumor has it that he's dating a girl who works at Bass Pro Shops. And she wears pink camouflage, and they go to swingers parties together. No. Yes. When I heard about it, I just metaphorically just about died. Can we do the can we do the foot press pose, please? The triangle foot press. So yeah, then I was thinking, oh no. Is Mike killing animals? Like is he going into Bass Pro Shop buying weapons and going out with her and killing animals? Angelique, are you asleep? Angelique, wakey, 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 wakey. I'm so sad, super sad to say this, but our session is now over. Thank you so much. This is awesome. You're welcome. Please continue to donate to SaveThePolarBears.org. Whatever you say, I'll do whatever you say. Wow. <laughs> Rachel, what are you doing here? Mike sent me. Mike? Angelique, this is Rachel, Mike's super awesome sister. Rachel, this is Angelique. Can we talk? Absolutely. See you next time, Angelique. Bye. She's super needy. Did you donate to SaveThePolarBears.org? I did. <laughs> What'd you get? Can we snuggle? Absolutely. <laughs> I just metaphorically about died when I saw this. I mean, I'm still metaphorically in love with him. But I just can't be with someone who doesn't care about the Arctic ecosystem. He does worry. He's changed. How's he changed? He recycles. He traded in that old Willie's Jeep for a Tesla. Teslas are amazing. He wanted me to tell you too that he donated to SavePolarBears.org like a lot. He did that for me? He did. And for the polar bears? For the polar bears too. It's amazing. Mike is standing outside that door right now in his snuggle pajamas and clean socks. Can I let him in? Yes. Roses are red, violets are blue. I sleep the best when I'm with you. <laughs> uh, the polar bears are cool. Mike, I loved your poem and I will absolutely take you back. <laughs> <laughs> Done. I 
love match sticking with you. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so, so wanna, you want a fork? Absolutely. <laughs> I, uh, so I, I heard of this new uh, water resort in uh, the Dells called Polar Express. Where you want to go? <gasps> I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> I bought the perfect swim trunks for it. <laughs> they have polar bears all over, but it's one size too small. I should stop eating donuts. Mike, don't change too much. They love you the way you are, and little polar bear. 